you know, I was going to say it's going to be a while. It, it's going to be, it has been a while, but it, for us, it really hasn't. Yeah. We've just been. Don't uh, do that. Is this, yeah. No. Can they hear this? Yes, they can. <laughs> Now, head on over to the Stony Magnum merch store because we just dropped a bunch of new merch. I say we, I did, uh, in uh, collaboration with, you probably heard of him, Gin and Tonic. He's uh, all over the Sabre community. So I think there should be three or four new designs up. Uh, bam, 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 you see a little thing. You can check it out in the description below. Uh, any purchase helps out a lot. Happy Halloween. <laughs> yeah, happy Halloween. <laughs> to those who celebrated, which I think is the rest of the world except for us. Yeah which sucks because it's it's genuinely the coolest holiday. Uh, okay. In my opinion. I really wish it were here. I really wish just because it's so... it's it will, We have our own Halloween. That's not Halloween. No, it's not. Kids go to stores and sing and get a little candy. Yeah. That's basically what Halloween no, is. No, but th there's no, like, there's no spirit about it here. It's just a day. Halloween is like a hollow it's like yeah. the Halloween month, Halloween week because I think we're recording this on a, on October 31st, which I believe is the start of Halloween or like Halloween, but I believe people are now like the week of Halloween. So, do you believe or do you know? I believe. Well, then shut the fuck up and don't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cuz that's how the world works. <laughs> You're not big into horror either, are you? Nope, not at all. Me neither. Uh, I remember my first horror experience though. Uh, it was a scary movie. Yes, scary movie three. Actually, Jesus, absolutely terrified me. I like, and this is not a joke, by the way. It actually did terrify. I'm such a scaredy cat. Actually, another fun little story about me being petrified. Uh, I was 19. I was in Florida. I don't know if I told you this story. No, we doesn't were, sound like it. Me and the family were well. Me, my dad, and my sister. We were going to. Um, Where's, what's the park with uh, Harry Potter stuff in it? Universal? Yeah. Yeah. So we are going to Universal. And um, we ended up going to like the Kong ride, the Skull Island. I think it's like the Peter Jackson yeah, one the Kong, before. The Kong, the King Kong. Yeah, King Kong. Yeah. yeah. I think it was like, it's the built. Kong. Yeah, sorry, King Kong. It's built from uh, the older movie. Uh, not the new, newer ones. Yeah, with Jack Black. Yeah, Jack Black, yeah. My main man. And we were walking through the line and... Uh, for some reason, everyone in Florida was just tiny that day. So I was like a head taller than everyone else in the line. Okay. And suddenly you hear... Florida like, was just short that day. Yeah, it just was. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Cause nice. Because I, I don't think they're usually shorter than me because I'm not that tall. But for some reason, everyone was a head shorter than me. But besides the point. Uh, well, it's, well it's, we were in the line. And you can hear like in front, front or of the line, you heard people like screaming. Mm. You heard someone scream and people reacting to it. And me being still a fucking scaredy cat at 19, I was still just like, <laughs> I don't know if I want to be here for a fucking ride. <laughs> um, and we eventually got there and there's like this long... Uh, By the way, I love, you weren't even scared of the ride itself. Not yet. Yeah. I was <laughs> Just the screaming and the movie and like... N not the movie itself, just like... Because you walk in there and you... You base you've seen the movie, right? Yeah. So remember on the island, it's like a cult kind of like. Yeah, yeah. And you know they had all this decoration, and you know inside that you you basically are immersed, semi immersed yeah, 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 in yeah, the yeah. world of it. So there's like a talking animatronic witch that looks very real, and there's high music and it's mm. fire and very scary. Okay. Uh, not for me, of course, at the time, but <laughs> it would it would be five minutes later. So we came to this like corridor that looked like it had been mined out of like a rock, and it was like a long corridor. And like the lights were on and all that, and I just saw in the in the a little bit ahead of us that someone was like jumping out of the wall and like scaring people as they went past. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, I got it, I got it. And then like we all went past, and it just it selected people at random. And then whoever was behind there just select like my because <laughs> I was par path I hate being scared. I despise it so much. So I sent my little sister across first, who was like nine at the time. Wow. I think. And nothing happened. Dude, that's, then my, that's bad. And then my dad, he went past as well with her. And nothing happened. I was like, okay, it's going to go. Like, you know, we're safe. And I went and the dude jumped out of me. And he's wearing this like super like tribal makeup and like super fucking scary. And he like, <laughs> he scares me. I 
19 year old me i'm a head taller than everyone else jumps up against the wall opposite it's a very narrow corridor but i'm jumping into the wall and i'm screaming like i'm a little girl <laughs> <laughs> and he like and I see him like smile as he disappears back in the shadows and I was just like fuck fuck and I was like pushing my dad like so I could get away from the hole <laughs> and I noticed there was another hole up ahead mm -hmm. and no one was getting scared no one and then we walked past it past it past it and then we wa <laughs> walked past the hole and I was like oh he's coming again and then I walked past the hole you said past the hole about 15,000 times yeah past the hole went past the hole you were walking towards the hole past the hole there was yeah, another yeah. hole. Yeah, yeah, but you were walking towards it. Actually, no, hang on. No, there was first, there was like a little indent that looked like there was a hole, but it wasn't, so we were good. But there was no screaming. Okay. Absolutely nothing for like five minutes as we, as we slowly went up the line. Mm -hmm. And there was another... As you were walking towards... The hole. Yeah. Uh, the second hole. And we, again, this... this No, sorry, the, the first time I didn't push my sister in front of me, but this mm -hmm. time, after he scared me, this is the time where I was like, you go on ahead. Go mm -hmm. first. It like forced her to go ahead and she was terrified. <laughs> My dad went with her across. Nothing happened. And I'm like going over and I try to like sprint over. And this motherfucker had been waiting for me for five fucking minutes. He hadn't done it to anyone else. And again, he jumps out at me. Again, I'm screaming. But this time I don't jump across the wall. I am cowering. I am on the floor, huddling into a ball in <laughs> the corner of the cards are going. Why me? What are you? Why me? <laughs> and the guy, he like he's. I see him. He's laughing at me. He's like hey, 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 and pointing at me as he comes back into the shadows. And then he comes back out, and I scream again. It's like why? Leave me alone! Goddamn! I'm laughing and screaming at the same time. I said, no, it's an actor. It's funny, but at the same time, I hate being scared. So the guy who's head taller than everyone else in that line is cowering in the corner of a little corridor, screaming like a girl, asking the actor. Why me? Leave me alone! Jesus. And then, <laughs> I was so petrified at that point. We got past that little hole and we were about to get on the ride. Mm -hmm. And I see an exit uh, away <laughs> outside. <laughs> and I, I turn to my little sister and I go, aren't you scared? <laughs> and I try guilt tripping her into leaving. So I have to go with her. D did she? Yeah. But I think wow. she... But she, like, when I turned to her and asked her, she was like, no, not really. And I was like, no, but it's scary. You know, you know the ride's going to be scary. You're not going to want to go on it, right? Oh, and she also like, she, I think she noticed how much I did not want to be there. <laughs> so she just said yes, and we let each other, like, and... <laughs> you're just looking at your little sister. You really, you realize you could fucking die, right? <laughs> you basically, you could fucking die. And then, hmm. of course, no one else is using this exit. So they just see me, the scaredy cat, with his little sister walking out of the exit as my dad still goes on the ride and then comes back later, it's just like, oh, it wasn't that, it wasn't, it wasn't scary. Jesus. Uh, I, I, so that's me. That's how I handle horror and being scared. I don't, I don't, I can't. How do you, how would you do with the actual rides though? Do you, are you scared of rides? I'm not particularly, well, yes, I am scared of rides actually. Oh, Jesus. But for a different because reason. I'm not like petrified of it in that way. I just, I'm a very down to earth person, really. Kind of. I don't so, like. So you think when you're on the ride, you'll probably fall down to earth? No, I just don't oh, okay. like the adrenaline. <laughs> just a little wordplay. Oh, I got you there. That's good. Yeah, I just English, don't like is the not my, English is not my first language, so you don't like the adrenaline. No, dude, you and me are so different. No, this is, I'm different from everyone else who goes into a park. If I go into a park, I'm going there for like the, I don't know, the emotion of being there or the food or not the food actually. I don't know. I don't know why I go there. It's just fun to be there. Like if I ever go yeah, to yeah. Galaxy's Edge. You know, no, I'll, no, there are no like big rides there, so I'll go into that. But like, I remember going. Have you gone to Universal? Yeah, you have. Yeah. Did you go to the Harry Potter rides? Yeah. In the big in the castle. Yeah. Okay. You go, you get into this dome, right? Yeah. This was my second time at Florida, which was like years before nineteen. It was like when I was, I think, fifteen at the time. Mm -hmm. And we went in there, and like, I just I don't like being like, I don't like the adrenaline. So I was like holding on and just closing my eyes the entire fucking time. And like, <laughs> you can see the picture later and it's like my dad and my grandpa, they're having a great time and I'm sitting there just like. <laughs> Jesus, dude. My grand, dude. I, I also go, I actually do, for some reason though, I enjoy water parks. I can oh, do the rides on those. Dude, I, I was gonna. Those are fantastic yeah, for some reason. Yeah, dude, I, I went to uh, Tenerife, which is. Uh, Tenerife? Isn't it just Tenerife? Yeah, we, 
people say it, but like they say Tenerife. Do they? Oh, all right. Yeah, the locals. Um, but we say Tenerife. Uh, mm-hmm. Anyway, it's uh, in the Canary Islands, mm-hmm. uh, which is uh, part of Spain or something. I- I'm not. I'm not good at geography. <laughs> is it geography? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. I'm not good at that. So, um, uh, anyway, I went to a water park there. Yeah. Uh, we went, uh, for friends. And, uh, so the two of us are like, I was probably the heaviest. And then a friend of mine who was like a, a professional athlete, uh, is like, uh, uh you, you're good. Okay. Um, I just need my water. Yeah. So, uh, he's a professional athlete and he's like, I think he's 15 pounds or something lighter than me, but anyway. Uh, I, th- I thought I was going to correct you. There. I thought you was going to, he's 15 pounds. Light, so we were <laughs> lighter than me. Yeah. But, uh, so there was this ride where it was like, um, two people on the same donut. Yeah. You know, you know, yeah, you know, the, yeah. The double donut or something, whatever. Uh, the double donut. Yeah. So we, w- we try to go, uh, uh, together and let, like, let the others, uh, you know, chicken shits mm. who weigh about nothing. <laughs> uh, go no together. resentment. The, the heavy boys and the light boys. Yeah. The, yeah, okay. English is not my first language. The men and the boys. Yeah, the men and the boys. <laughs> Thank you. That's a good, yeah. So uh, we get up there and the guy who's like controlling the yeah. line, like, yeah. go, stop, go, yeah. stop. He goes, you guys are not going together. <laughs> <laughs> people were like oh what come on <laughs> it was like way too heavy wow <laughs> and i was like what's what's the limit it was about 50 pounds lighter than you together wow <laughs> oh my god uh, and I, uh, but uh so yeah so together we probably weighed like i don't know 450 maybe 500 yeah but he was like yeah the, the, the limit is like four did you go have to did you guys each have to go in like one donut no no, no 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 because we were four i just went with uh, wow, the boys are that light. Y- yeah, fuck. No, no, no. I, I mean, I I weigh like two twenty. Oh, you're that heavy. That's no, what you're saying. I'm, I'm probably f- two forty, and he's probably two fifteen. I have no idea how to like measure pounds. Okay, kilos. so uh, I'm about one hundred twenty kilos. Uh, I, I'm one hundred fifteen kilos, and he's uh, about one hundred five kilos. Mm. So. um yeah, just multiply that by 2.2, I think, and uh, you're good for the pounds. Um, so, Jesus. Anyway, anyway, you c- <laughs> we c- you're going to cut all this shit out. Okay. Um, no, no, I was going like, because you were talking about multiplication. I'm just like, dude, I'm a dropout. Like, I haven't <laughs> used math in 17 years. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, so anyways, anyways, <laughs> to make a long, short, long story even longer, to make a short story long. Thank you. It sounds like you. Yeah, uh, and he was like, you guys can't go together. So I went with the other guy, and like it was fun, you know. But then we went up there again, and there was a new guy. Now, the third time we went there, there was a new guy. Yeah. And we, we just like kind of just like <laughs> trying to sneak up on him. And he just looked at us, and he was like, yeah, you guys look at you can handle it. <laughs> we went, dude, we went fucking flying. Really, yeah, dude. Holy shit! I, I'm like, I'm like ninety percent sure we did like a. It was like a closed, closed ride yeah. at a water park. So I, I'm, I'm ninety percent sure we did like our whole ring, <laughs> like a three sixty inside the circle. Yeah, and and when we got down, we just we we went so far like in the in the like the how, what do you say like the landing pool? The, the land, yeah, sure, landing pool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we went so far down that the, the the girl who was supposed to like stop us, we <laughs> knocked her over and she fell in the water. <laughs> and then she came up and she was like, oh. and you, you could just hear she was mad. Oh no! And then we both went. We didn't flip over. We both to both of our surprise. So we both went over. Like, got off the donut at the same time, in the same direction. It was opposite to her. And the donut flew and hit her in the fucking face. And she hit the water again. And, and I was trying to get the donut. And she just kind of... Uh, she just kind of just like... 
punts the donut in my direction. I was like, shit. Took, took the Not thing. going on that ride again. <laughs> but just like fucking disappeared. We were like, holy. But dude. <laughs> you shoved the donut back in your face. Uh, uh, oh. Dude, but that was. That that was a ride. You know, oh. like we. Holy no, water balls. parks are so. Yeah. Those donuts in water parks. It's always. Mm. So, that's so fun. God, speaking of water parks. Um, I love the. Because I think every time I've gone to one, it's been with uh, my dad and my grandpa. Mm. And it's always just become a day with the three of us. Mm -hmm. Like just every time we go. And it's honestly such a wonderful time. And I swear to God, ever since I was like six years old, which was like the first time we went somewhere, like with the family. Because the family like traveled to like America once every three years or something. Yeah, yeah. And um, every time, like my grandpa always commits to like this gag that... Literally only me and my dad can see, basically. Mm -hmm. Because every time at the drop of these water slides, mm -hmm. you, know, you always go up, 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 and then whoosh at the end. And then up, it gets up, like up, a... Up, up, up. Yeah, so and when you're in like a boat and it goes like up slowly through the ride and it's like a big drop at yeah, the end yeah, yeah. and like camera, camera gets the... Mm -hmm. Every single time that we've gone to one of these since I was born, mm -hmm. it's always been me hanging on for dear life to... My dad next to me going, like, holding on, enjoying himself so much. It's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> he always has the gritted teeth. Just like, <laughs> and then next to him, my grandfather, <laughs> from the time that I have memories, he has always been. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a classic. Every That's such a classic grandpa. Single ride. He's <laughs> always, <laughs> like, pretending to be asleep. And he does it. He's, he's mastered it. It looks so solid. It looks so funny. <laughs> Uh, no, but that adrenaline, adrenaline, adre adrenal, adrenaline. Hang on, <sighs> adrenaline rush. See a big back beggar. <laughs> the I don't even know what the fuck I said. Um, I think I I I prefer to get that in another way, like in 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 the cinema, like mm. an emotional adrenaline rush. I don't know if that's. I honestly don't know. What is an adrenaline rush? I I I've I've experienced this so few times that I don't even know what it is really. <laughs> You know, it's basically when your body, base, it's it's when you feel like you're gonna shit yourself. Okay, yeah. So I experienced that in the cinema. Yeah, but, but you feel it like in your chest. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's not. I experienced that in the cinema. It's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like when I saw Luke Skywalker in the Mandalorian. Yeah, but, but that's not the same. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I think for me that, it is. That might be the, like the biggest like. I mean, seeing Luke in the Mandalorian, like when yeah, he yeah. returned, and in Avengers Endgame, in the end of that, yeah. And Rogue Avengers. One. Assemble. Assemble. <laughs> oh, fuck. I, I, we were talking about this the other day. We need to like not watch these movies for like 20 years. Yeah. And then watch it all in the, in like the, in the row. Basically, and try basically to experience take, that again. Basically take our oh. summer vacation days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just and just experience movies, yeah. the like the our age of Marvel again. Yeah. Uh, no, but God, but that's definitely my adrenaline. And like, I know a lot of people, like I've experienced this with like ex how I experienced Luke returning. People mm -hmm. don't seem to understand this. I clearly am a very emotional being compared to a lot of people. Apparently I'm missing a lot of testosterone according to a lot of men. <laughs> Dude, have we, have we talked about how I watched Mandalorian? No, I don't think so. Okay. Do you remember it? Oh, when we watched the first season? Yeah. No, it's the second season. We didn't watch the second season. Yeah, we did. Did we? We watched... How many episodes are in it? Oh, right. We watched... Um, I think it's... Isn't it, isn't it 10 episodes? I think it's six. No, 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 no. The, the whole season is... Oh, is it Mando? It's six or... How, how it is, is Mando? Uh, Manda Lorian. Oh, is it? Yeah. And you're an idiot. Oh, wow. No, it's... It's nine, okay. It's nine. So we watched the first, I think, seven. Yeah. Yeah. We watched the first seven. And, uh, like, I think, like, almost... Sorry, hold on. Let me fix my thing, Mike. <laughs> I think we did it, like, in the same day. We did it in the same night, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I went home. And I watched the last two on my own. Mm. 
and I was shitting my pants, and I was sending you snaps of me shitting my pants, mm-hmm. and then you got so fucking mad. Oh yeah, I wanted to be there when you experienced it. I was so angry. I went. Uh, I binged dude. seven hour long episodes. <laughs> And you went home and watched the last two on your fucking own. Okay, yeah. But, okay, I, I, I definitely, like, after the fact, I realized what the fuck I did wrong. Like, first I was like, oh my God, did you believe it? I couldn't believe it. And then you were like, yeah, why the fuck did you watch them alone? And immediately when you said that, I was like, oh, I fucked up. That's what but in my watch. defense, in my defense, if, if that had not happened, if, like, basically anything else had happened, just it had ended pretty much the way it was going to end without loot. You know what I mean? What, just the season? Yeah. Yeah. You would not have been so pissed. You know what I mean? Even if it had Are a you? good... Yeah. No, I was there for... I wanted to see your reaction to him. Yeah, to there. Luke. Yeah. But you couldn't say, don't watch it because there was something yeah. major. Because I would have been like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Because I hate spoilers. Yeah. Spoilers are... I've, re- I've recently uh, experienced that on my own as well. Because we, yeah. we don't like trailers. <laughs> don't say we... No, I do not like you trailers. Despise. Trailers. I despise them. I just don't like them. I wish we didn't need them, but apparently yeah. the world does. Yeah. And but you loved them up until like last week. I no, love no, no. when you I, fucking no, no. loved them. No, no. I I always did hate that they are a thing, but I they still get me excited. But I wish I could have gotten that excitement for the first time in the cinema. Yeah. Yeah. But I still would be. But I still get a bigger ex- excitement out of watching the trailer and seeing the spoilers rather than the spoilers coming up on TikTok, Instagram, mm, or whatever. Because mm, mm, it always happens that way to me. Yeah, true. always. Yeah. So like, if I hadn't watched the Spider Man trailer, the reveals in that would have. I know you haven't seen it, so I don't. I'm not gonna spoil what that is. Well, I I got one of the spoilers. Yeah, you so. got. I'm not gonna just talk about it to avoid any chance yeah. of anything. Yeah. But like, if because I've seen those things pop up because I'm way more. I'm way deeper into nerd culture and all that and so everything I mm-hmm. see is always people talking about this so I would have experienced it anyway so I kind of wa- have to watch the trailers to get you know a b- bit more feeling out of it yeah yeah but god I really but, wish we didn't need them I really wish they weren't a thing I just yeah I remember when uh, so basically we did a podcast about like uh, um, three no, a yeah, month like, ago not even it was like two weeks no it was like I'm talking about the first one we did. Oh, right. (laughs) That was about a month ago. (laughs) Sorry. The original episode five, I think, or episode four, I Mm -hmm. don't even know. But um, This is like episode nine at this point. (laughs) Yeah, for us. But I'm positive that it's episode five. Uh, Okay, but anyways. Yeah, four or five. um, uh, And that episode, like, a bunch of it. attacking me. Yes, it's okay. Uh, a bunch of it was us talking about how much you wanted me to watch a Spider-Man trailer yeah. and how much I did not want to. Yeah. Because I want to save you from that feeling of, oh, I saw it in a picture. In a picture. You can't say anything right now. But I think you just wanted me to watch the trailer because it's a good trailer. It's okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, but like, so... I've always, like, if it's a movie that you know you're going to see, like... A like, Marvel movie. <laughs> yeah, a Marvel movie, you don't get... I don't, I'm, I'm like, I'm going to be like 90%, okay, well, 80% sure, at least. No, I'm going to I'm gonna say 90% sure that you're not going to get more people to watch the movie if you release a trailer. I disagree with that. Because no, I don't no, no, no. think a lot of... Because no, no, I'm, media I'm, is like, people don't necessarily take it as seriously as a lot of other people no no no. i'm talking about like ma- yeah the first no, 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 okay so what i what i think would happen like because there were some talks at some point that they were not gonna give a release a trailer for spider-man home uh, yeah i saw uh, that going no around. way home yeah yeah and i thought that's such a baller move because i think that would be like an even more explosion at the box office like because no trailer yeah, I thought so as well. Like the first week would not be affected. Of of course, everything is gonna be sold out everywhere. You know what I mean? Everything is gonna be sold out everywhere for Spider Man Homecoming. No fucking no way home. Yeah. Sorry, but and then then and then what would happen is either it's good or it's bad, 
and it's probably good. And mm-hmm. they know, like, the first week weekend of the movie, there are only going to be nerds, like, like hardcore fans. Mm-hmm. And they are going to say the movie was awesome. Unless it is shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But, I mean but, but, but then you get the word of mouth, and the word of mouth is key. Yeah, that helps as well. But, like, you ha- also have to understand that, like... Sorry. The trailers are how you get the people that aren't that haven't seen all Marvel movies into the theater. Yeah, yeah. You, and like the people who aren't you know nerds don't know that a new Spider Man movie is coming out because they don't follow those accounts online, but they'll see the trailer pop up you know in on TV in the movie when they go elsewhere. You know, they just want that. You know, if they can mark the movie as you know new box office like record, that's gonna attract even more people. You know, this isn't just about the nerds. It's about the people that yeah. also just... Yeah, okay, maybe. People who haven't seen a Marvel movie, but like, oh, damn, Spider-Man. Or they maybe see a character pop up in the trailer who are like, oh, wait. Oh, okay. You know, it's just, mm-hmm. you know, there's a lot of... But yeah. I But again, I'm with you on, like, I want to... Because exp- we... Yeah, okay. We watch the trailers let's, for yeah, let's DC. Just, yeah. We, we, by, by the way, much to my grudge... Your grudge? Yeah, I... Yeah. I did not want. Do you not remember? I did not want to watch them. You said okay. Yeah. yeah no. 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 But, but I, like, I, and I apologize yeah, 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 for this. No. 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 Yeah. 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 <laughs> but like, like before, no. and, and and this is oh, to no, yeah. So like, I, I think it was. We, which one did we start with? We started with Black Adam. Yeah, we started with Black. I don't even know why the fuck I continued. But so there no, was. Let me just preference this, by the way. This dude, I met you in fifth grade. Yeah. Which is what for us, ten years old. Ye- yeah. And he started immediately talking about Black Adam, basically. Like, Not literally, but like yeah, yeah, yeah. he's been talking about this movie for that long. And Sen- been sense, sense like it, it came out that Dwayne Johnson would be Black Adam. Yeah. He's been hyping this movie up basically since I've known him. And for some reason, he said okay to watching the trailer. And Because like I... I yeah. <sighs> And we were watching the trailer, and it's not really a trailer. It's more of like a behind-the-scenes kind of thing. Yeah. And we were watching it, and uh, what's his name? So basically, about... Just first mm. 20 seconds. Yeah. What's his name, the actor? What's his name? Uh, Pierce Brosnan. Pierce Brosnan comes up, and he's talking. And we're like, oh, he's in this? And like, yeah, okay, cool. And then No, shot, that's not what happened. No, no. I and said, then, holy shit, James Bond is in this? Yeah, and then next shot, you see him holding... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Sorry, I'll put a timestamp on when we stopped spoiling. Uh, so in the next like scene of that, you see him holding uh, Dr. Fate's helmet. And I go like, just wait, hang on, was that Dr. Fate? And you're like, wait, what? Go back, go back, we go back and see it. And you just go, fuck. <laughs> I was so fucking mad. Uh, but like, yeah. And I wasn't mad at the time and you were you were explaining why you were mad about this, and I was like, "Yeah, I understand," but at the same time, yada yada yada. I was just giving the argument that I just gave here, but I suddenly understand what you mean mm-hmm. because just recently we got an announcement for uh, Mace Windu is coming back, and I'm fucking with. Oh you. my god, I was gonna fuck. <laughs> I was gonna. Oh, I was, do, do, do. <laughs> You saw me from the corner. Yeah, of, I yeah. did. That's why I stopped this so fast. I was going to keep this going, but I was afraid it was going to punch me. I was going to punch you. So Samuel L. Jackson is back, <laughs> as Mace Windu, in the <laughs> Kenobi series. And, and the Ahsoka series, actually. And, uh, no, but, like, it's he's you not can, actually... Yeah, you can stop now. But, like, no, I'm just, like, saying it was that kind of reveal. Mm-hmm. It's huge. Yes, it is. Oh, have you found this out? What? Since. No, I'm talking about the Star Wars thing now. No, I was talking about the okay. So me, because for me, like that's a because I was defending this thing. Because I was defending this, like, oh, but you already, but you experienced it now. You know, you now know that he's in this, and that's exciting. And mm-hmm. but now I know this other character is gonna feature or be in or is somehow going to be in this show that's coming up in Star Wars, and I and it takes so much away from me. Because now you know yeah. what is for for example, like Luke, like Luke, who showed up out of nowhere. That's what got that gut reaction to him. That's what gave me this like adrenaline, uh, this emotional overburst of just seeing him out of nowhere. If it was like Luke returning in the season finale of yeah, the Mandalorian yeah. next week, that wouldn't have been as no. impactful. So definitely like, not. The fact that they announced what they and if, and if you're a Star Wars fan, you've heard of this. Like this is not a leak. This is not a thing. They just legit announced this. 
and like people are excited about it and yeah i'm i'm semi excited about it but i i wish we would have just seen it and not spoken about it do you think um you can tell me right now or what it is yeah because like is it gonna be spoiled for me because like i get your point it will be spoiled i'm sure it will be okay so should we give out a spoiler alert and you just tell it I mean, I, uh, I'm sure it will be spoiled for you, but I, I, I don't know if I want to take the chance if you manage to avoid it, but you're not going to avoid it, but I don't, uh, I don't know. That's the thing with trailers and talking to you. You might avoid it. I don't yeah. know, but like it's it's an official no, announcement. Dude, dude uh, okay, so for, for you who are watching uh, on YouTube and, and possibly Spotify. Yeah. Um, or listening possibly on Spotify. So basically, when I'm in the movie theater, they always do this. I don't know if it's a universal thing, but at least in Iceland, they show a couple of trailers before... Yeah, it's universal. Yeah, okay, yeah. So, you know, the trailers before the movie? Yep. Uh, what I do when they start, and I'm in, like, in my, when I'm in my seat, this is what I do. I, I, I put my hand, put my fingers in my ears... <laughs> And your elbows in front. And try of your to face. move them around a little bit to like create some like friction. Yeah, friction. Yeah. Just a, a nuisance in the ears, and then I just go. Ew! Why not just go? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do that too. Sometimes I just go both. Mm-hmm. He's so funny sitting next to him to go to the movies with him. You're always like, <coughs> <laughs> it's done. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you look at the person next to you and say, I'm getting paid for this. <laughs> uh, <coughs> so I uh, get your Dr. Fate thing now because yeah. I'm not as deep into DC as you are. So, But I can, after I'm, the announcement that dude, we were talking I about, am I am neck deep. I get why that annoys you so much. The Flash. So, if, if you have not seen the trailer, get the fuck out. Okay, I mean, get <laughs> the fuck out. We'll put out a disclaimer when we stop talking about it, but like right now, get the fuck out. Because this one is another one which I deeply, deeply regret even more. Really? Yes. Because I think well, well, this uh, is well, the kind of yeah, spoiler no, no. that I'm kind of okay with. Yeah, but it works both ways. How much cool... Because you know, in the movie, it's set up in the movie like it's going to be a big reveal. Yeah. So, okay, yeah, it, the spoiler has happened. So, yeah. is Michael Keaton fucking Batman? I, I think If he so. isn't, DC is going to burn down. That's just <laughs> a fact. That's not my opinion. That's a fucking fact. That's definitely what they are, like, alluding to. Alluding. That's going to fucking happen, or DC is going to <laughs> burn down. Well, this is what people want with when they release trailers. Yeah, but they so rarely get it. Yeah, no, 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 they do. They just don't always get it with us. But this is the normal no, thing. No, no. Okay, well, okay, well, I fucking love... I have a love-hate relationship with trailers. Because, like, if it's an iconic movie, mm. 90% sure I'm going to see it. Yeah. You know, like, 95. Yeah. But if it's, like, some movie, like... Just... Let me just... Let me just do this. Uh, I'm going to go to YouTube, do trailers... Trailer 2021. No, don't do that. Uh, right. I'm not gonna watch the Witcher trailer. I'm not gonna watch uh, Buzz Lightyear. Wait, which, wait, wait. Witcher has a trailer? Yeah, I did uh, yesterday. Oh, put that on right now. No, I'm not. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, oh, wh- I'm so dumb. Dude, Lightyear. No, okay, this. I was, I was gonna. Hey, dude, by the way. What, what is this? Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. What? No, this, this has to be. The Cursed Child is. I know. The and next this book looks, in the series. This looks okay, re- hold up. legit. And it's from Screen Culture. Hang on. Wait, are okay, you serious? So, no, so we are going to take... Henry, take your headphones off and look away and let me just no, watch no, 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 this. No, I'll I'm, tell I'm, you no, if this is real. Okay. You, you swear you'll tell me. And if you're not 100% sure... No, we. This is four months ago. We would have fucking known oh, by now. Oh, this is four months ago. Okay. <laughs> I think... Uh, yeah, the Eternals is out now, so the next Spider-Man trailer is going to be. The Eternal soon. is definitely not out now. No, no, like you know, it's soon. Very. Yeah, soon. yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna get another Spider-Man trailer soon. <sighs> yeah. And I'm gonna watch it, and I hate myself for it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but 
I can't nod. Well, it's out like this week. Yeah, the next next the next US, Friday, in the US at least. Next Friday, yeah. Should we check when it comes to Iceland? Well, we'll just just do, do that after. Honestly, don't care. I'm like three Marvel movies behind. I haven't seen Eternals. No, the uh, Shang Shang Chi. I have not. I haven't seen Black Widow. I haven't seen Shang Chi. I saw I... Black Widow, and like just because she, w I wasn't even excited about the movie, but just because she is an Avenger, mm. you no, know, I I had to see it. It was. I mean, she's not. She's dead. There were a dude, fucking Black Widow. There were a couple of moments where you were like, "Why did you go this far?" Oh really? She falls. I'm not even kidding. I think seven stories down. This is like a John and, Wick thing. Yeah, she basically hits her head, and then she hits it again, and then she falls, and uh, like lands basically face. She face plants. From like two stories, and then she keeps falling and face plants again, and then she face plants, <laughs> and then she stands up and continues fighting. And I was like, "Oh my god, no!" <laughs> the good thing about it was she was human, mm. and you could do, "Oh no!" I still gotta watch that movie, but yeah, you no, know, but but like again, it was a Marvel movie, but it was, you know, pretty a basic Marvel movie. I just think my it, it did not invent the wheel. The wheel. I think my Marvel like obsession kind of ended with Endgame. I think that was kind of it my. Was a, it, it was a good out. Like it, it I think it's it's, it's you, definitely did you see my generation. Yeah, I, yeah, we watched that together. You fell asleep. Um, that was not the first time I was watching that. No, I know, I know, yeah, but yeah. you still fell asleep, and I was very angry. But um, the it was the first time you were watching that yeah. movie. Yeah, but like the Endgame is the end of my generation's Marvel. I think. Well. Now they're 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 building up a new generation or trying to build. Up, I, I'm honestly not sure. I feel like the TV shows are still going to keep up with you know the current, like our generation. I don't, I don't even think. Like, but I think the movies are gonna. I, I genuinely don't know. I honestly. don't think there's gonna be another uh, Wanda uh, Wanda Vision. You don't? No, it was very uh, not, successful. Not a TV series. I think oh it's no, be she's a movie. she's she's setting. Up, well, she's uh, gonna be in. Um, it's a. Uh, uh, the Doctor Strange, uh, multi multiverse of madness. Okay, yeah, that, make, that makes sense. Um, They're together. And then, in that. Uh, Falcon, the uh, Falcon, Fal Falcon and Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier. And there's not going to be another season of that. They're going to uh, Fal Falcon or Captain America is going to get another movie. Uh, but uh, Loki is, I think, the only one. It that is getting another season. It's, yeah, yeah, it's confirmed, it's confirmed another yeah. season. And are there any more series? Yeah, What If is getting another season. Mm -hmm. uh, Hawkeye comes out this Christmas. Yeah. By the way, I am so excited for Hawkeye. Are you? Yeah. Why? Because he's an Avenger. That's it? Basically. That's mm -hmm. enough of me. Cool. No, but like, I think he's going to have to deal with a lot of what it did, you know, in the five years of being yeah. Ronan. Yeah. I think that's exactly what the show's about. Yeah. And, and. I think it's a good premise. I think there's something like going to come back and bite him in the ass or yeah, something. Yeah, but uh, can we do another... We're doing so many spoilers alert. I'll just put up general spoilers for this episode in the yeah. beginning. Um, sure. But uh, another spoiler alert. Um, in No, wait. I'm not going to tell you. Fuck it. I'm going to tell you this. <laughs> okay. Fine. I'll tell you the Star Wars spoiler then if we're going to play this game. You're going to tell me anyway off screen. I can tell you now if I'm just going to tell you. Okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Three, two. <laughs> <laughs> no, but... Okay, so basically... Okay, do you want... Can, can I... Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so um, in the Black Widow movie... Yeah. Oh, I know all the spoilers from that. Yeah, yeah okay, yeah. Yeah, uh, she apparently has a sister. Yeah. And in the end of that... Uh, the cutscene of that movie... Mm -hmm. Is basically the purse, like the oh, chick. Oh, actually, I haven't seen the end credit scene. Actually, I don't know what that is. What okay. is that? So basically, uh, her sister is standing over the uh, headstone of Black Widow, uh -huh. and just like being sad and everything. You know, happens when your sister dies. <laughs> I imagine. But you know, you, you and think, then yeah, and then the chick from uh, Falcon Win Winter Soldier, like you know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how Carter, else. Carter, this the daughter. No, right? no, no. I'm talking about like basically a superhero agent for the the white American, uh, like Captain America. The the what? Yeah, the wannabe. Yeah. Um. What's what's uh, his I name don't know. Now? 
It's something. It's black something or dark something. No, the fuck it ain't. But yeah, it is. No, 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 no. Oh, sorry, no. U.S. agent. That's his name. No, 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 no. I'm talking about who gets the shield at first. Yeah, U.S. agent. Yeah. No, wasn't that his sidekick? No, he was. He was Rocket or something. Idiot. Idiotic. No, but, no, at the end of the series, he's like U.S. agent, and that's apparently like a comic character or something. Okay. Okay. But anyway, yeah. So you know, you know the chick. That was trying to like yeah. be be his basically Re- recruit him be, being his manager or something yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. She that comes chick's out. yeah that chick's comes uh, next to her sister okay. the a black widow sister and it's like I don't know basically being I don't know how else to say this can I drop the c word in there yeah yeah she's a cunt <laughs> what did she do no 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 she just is a cunt oh yeah you can tell. I yeah, think yeah. she has Asperger's, yeah. and I can relate, so... <laughs> well, you're a cunt, too, then. Thank you. No, okay, sorry. But, um... Yeah, um... No, anyways, so, yeah, she comes along, and she's like, don't you want to hunt the, down the bastard or something that's responsible for your... Mm. in the sister's death? And she just goes... Mm. She doesn't say anything, and just, she looks uh, in, in memory. Yeah. And then... This chick hands her just a, card. a piece of paper, and it's a hot guy on it. Mm. So she's gonna try to hunt down the bastard. Oh, yeah. uh, parenthesis that tried to kill her, that killed her sister, and it's hot guy, which was, is not what I. Meant. No. <laughs> By the way, that scene. Oh yeah. I was genuinely. I think a lot sorry. of people. Hold were up. Like, I'm trying to fix my mic here. Sorry. I, just, I think a lot of people were like, "Oh, I know she's gonna die here." And yeah, yeah. I was genuinely on the edge of my seat for that scene. Dude, I thought Hawkeye was gonna go down. No, I, 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 I could not have told you what the fuck was gonna happen if my life depended on it. <laughs> it was a very. I would have flipped a coin. It was very good. I, I had no idea. By the way, by the way, for half. So wait, a... is she gonna be the antagonist in this in the no, show? No, no, definitely not. I think what's gonna happen is like in episode three or four, uh. she's gonna realize no, that's not what happened, and then they're gonna team up. Yeah. But but again, theories. Isn't the, you know isn't, you know isn't fan that theories? Show, isn't you know? that show also set up to um, set up his daughter as the next Hawkeye? It might. I, I think. I think she's in it. Uh, she's on the post. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, then that's definitely yeah. probably what's gonna happen because Jeremy Renner. There's also a Labrador on the poster, so I'm gonna watch the show, dude. I miss the I miss the Netflix Marvel shows. I miss them so much. Yeah, like the new Marvel shows. They're cool. They're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they're good. Like WandaVision was brilliant, dude. But those... WandaVision got so much shit for the first two episodes they did. Well, I think they were worth it. They're not yeah, great yeah. episodes in their no, own. No, no, but no. When no, you no, know no. what's like going yeah, on, yeah, it's yeah, yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. brilliant. Yeah. But like, dude, nothing. They really none of the shows that have come out so far, they do not surpass, surpass Daredevil for me. Mm-hmm. It was like I remember. You can say what you will about Jessica Jones. Well, actually, Jessica Jones was pretty damn good, good too. But Iron Fist and Luke Cage and Defenders. Wow, there were a lot of sea of uh, heroes on that. Wow. Yeah. Iron but, like, Fist, are you sure you want it? Was go- not good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, was, I was gonna say because like everybody shit on I that hate, show. I hated that. But I'll talk to that in a minute. But like mm-hmm. Daredevil and Jessica Jones, especially Daredevil, we need to get that Matt Mur- Murdock back. I love mm. him as Matt Murdock. Yeah. Like just and oh wow and how am I, how am I forgetting this Punisher. Yeah, dude. I the shows the first... on Netflix, Mar- Marvel-based shows, I hate that they got canceled. Like Disney, you have the money, buy whatever rights you have to to get it off of Netflix and put it <laughs> onto Disney Plus. Get the crew, cast, and just directors and writers back. Please keep going because you had such a fucking good thing going. Yeah. Like, oh, it was so it was so good, dude. Iron Fist disappointed me. I'm big mm-hmm. into like act, like um, martial arts movies. Mm-hmm. Like Jackie Chan and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And like, I th- they were trying to do that, but they just did it in all the wrong ways. But uh, that's that's like, that's a, that's yeah. a, that's a, that's a, an opinion from like years ago. We don't have to talk about that. But yeah, man. Dude, those Marvel shows, The Punisher and Daredevil, are still the best Marvel shows in my opinion. Well, I haven't seen Daredevil. You haven't. 
Any of it? I, I, okay. To be honest, I, I think it was the first episode with you. And I have to admit, like, wasn't it the opening, like, the opening scene was him beating up a bunch of guys. No, no that was the so. end of this first episode, I think. I don't remember. It's been a while since I watched it. Okay, it was well, before he my was basically there was a lot. There's a lot that happened since. Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of the catalyst of my life. It's just before and after. I don't really remember much, you know. <laughs> Dude, oh. I'm still well. Of course, you know, John Bernthal. Dude, John, Bar- John Bernthal. John I'm, Bernthal. I'm still ecstatic that I got to meet him. Did you? When have I not told you about this? No. Okay, I went to. It's the same. It's the same place I met Ray Park at the Darth Mall. For the love of science. Yeah, for the love of sci-fi. For the love of God! Why didn't you tell me <laughs> about him? I thought I did. No, you fucking didn't. I did say I met the Punisher, so maybe you thought I was just talking about a cosplayer. No, I thought. Uh, mm, <laughs> it kind of rings a bell, but hold on, let me. Uh, I thought you met. Oh, the original Punisher. Yeah. No, I thought no. you met this. No, no, no. The movie. Where the fuck is the movie? I don't know. Yeah, two, from 2004. No. I no, thought no. you met this guy. No, no. Uh, I met Jer- Thomas Jane. That's what I That's what I thought you were talking about. No, no. I met John Bernthal. I was like, I just passed well, he, him. I passed him on the con floor and he was like, and I just went up to him and I'm like, dude, I fucking love your work. And he was just like, just and gave him a fist bump. And that was, <laughs> I didn't want to take up more of his time. So, but dude, sure. he's, sh- he's <laughs> shorter than you'd think. Um, hold but, on. um, uh, Let me check. Also How with, short um, is he? Yeah, I met Ray Park as well, and like he came to the after party. What an awesome fucking guy, dude! I remember watching the uh, because I, dude, I love, dude, I love that I can say I was in a party with Ray Park, dude. How cool is no, no, that? No, I, <laughs> I, I definitely remember you talking about Darth Maul. Yeah, but I always thought you were talking about a cosplayer until. I want to say two weeks ago did yeah, we go to the cabin? Fanboys. Yeah, we watched Fanboys. And he has uh, like a guest role. Yeah, he has. He is like a, what's it called? A, a cameo kind of. A kind of cameo, but. Yeah. It's but, a cameo. He's, it's a cameo. He gets yeah, to do yeah, his, yeah, yeah, his, okay, his yeah. shtick. It is a cameo. Yeah, yeah. But but it's it's not like a Stanley cameo where it's like no, it's, three it's seconds. It's a cameo for it's, the nerd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah, the yeah, nerds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Because like he has, he goes in, he says like three lines. And then does and then, like a spin uh, yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, like. yeah, yeah. And then he has a fight scene. <laughs> and then when you were like, like, oh, dude, that's Ray Park. And I was like, who is that? That's actually Darth Maul. Yeah. And I was like, that's Darth Maul? And you, you were like, yeah. I met him at the, at the thing. I was like, wait, you met actual Darth yeah. Maul? And you were like, yeah, did I not tell you about this? And I don't know what more I should say. I was in a party with actual Darth Maul. Yeah, but because I definitely remember you talking about a specific Darth Maul but who I thought was a cosplayer, yeah. which then turned out to be an actual cosplayer, but you thought that was more important to tell me that you met a cos- cosplayer. I never told you about that. You definitely... Another person I was with met a cosplayer. <laughs> yeah. That is a story for another time. But <laughs> You definitely... You told me about that one. And I, was I mean, like, that oh, yeah, story yeah. is better. <laughs> <laughs> it actually is, but... <laughs> It's a story for another time. <laughs> it's a story for another time. But um no, I met I met and and partied with Ray Park. Yeah. And yeah, no, I met I ran into John Bernthal and I also um I ran into the guy who played Darth Vader in Rogue One as well. Oh boss. And I, I That's dude, cool. the person I was actually who got like a, a very excited for some reason, I got very excited for um, um, uh, Warwick Davis, who is like a guy who has been in like, I think he has the record for being in the most Star Wars movies behind um, Anthony Daniels, who's C-3PO. Uh, uh, he's the war, dwarf. War. Warwick Davis. Warwick Davis, yeah. yeah. War. He he plays like, he's a dwarf. Oh, wait, 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 yo. He plays fucking Willow. Yeah, yeah. Did you meet him? Yeah. Oh, damn. And um. It was so funny because it was such a way, small convention. He is such a like legend. underrated, yeah, he's an legend. underrated legend. You know he's what always I mean? a uh, he's always like um, a not a ho. You know, he is always at Star Wars Celebration. He's always the host for a lot of panels. He's great. He also was in Harry Potter. Oh yeah, no, he's been in a lot. Holy fuck! What? There's 
a Willow TV series coming out. Oh, I know. Yeah. They're filming it. I know. What the balls? I know. I know. Dude. I need to watch Willow. Holy <laughs> shit. I'm sorry for the I cousin, but. I did not know you were in a or Willow fan. Oh, excuse me. D- dude, like. You're a Willow fan? I don't think I've ever seen like, it. Willow is like the first, you know, old school fantasy film. Really? That I like loved. I need to watch it. I I don't think I've ever like, seen I, it. I was, I was really young and like my dad had it. I don't know if it was on his like iPod Touch or no, no, no. He had it on, his, on some kind of a like floppy disk. Yeah. What do you call it? A floppy disk? You're no, not no, no. that old. No, no, no. I'm talking, you know, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Like no. The, a DVD? A hard disk good? VHS? Hard disk good? A hard drive? Yeah, thank you. Yeah. He had it on a hard drive. Yeah. yeah, sorry for the confusion, but I guess this is what you tune in for. So uh, <laughs> he had it on a hard drive, which we could like plug into the TV or something. And then like I watched that, and that was the first like old school. You want to watch that tonight? Yeah, maybe we should. I've never seen it, and we've got a lot You've of You've never left. seen it? I've never seen Willow. Holy fuckballs. Are we doing that tonight? We definitely are now. Nice. Hold on. Come, One come, more time. Come closer, closer. To the mic. Did you get that? But um, <laughs> <laughs> that epic fist bump. No, but yeah, no, I met him as well. Yep, we Dude, definitely did. For the love, of, <laughs> for the love of sci-fi, it was so fun because it was it's my the it's the one and only convention that I've ever been to. I don't really count the Icelandic one. No, oh, yeah, it's it's yeah, but like it was it was like it was kind of, it was still very small compared to like what a convention is. So all these actors, they were always walking around just on the floor. Mm-hmm. I ne- I didn't wait in line once to meet any of these people. Damn. So they were just on the floor, you know, going somewhere. So I never actually stopped to talk to them, but they were just very friendly because, you know, they they kind of have to be. So you just kind of ran into all, like Warwick Davis, he just he was closing up booth and he was just walking, I think, with, with his wife or something, just through, just in the normal way and just like saying hi to like fans and yada, 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 and just being super kind. And I was just like, I just waved and he waved back and that's all I needed. Mm. Like, dude, I can't wait to go. I, I'm, I, I think I have tickets for this December. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Do you think? What? I think I have tickets for this December. Cause, no, because do you have a flight a flight ticket? No, or? I don't. No, okay. But like, I, I know I, I was yeah, gonna you, go you, last yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that got canceled due to you know reasons that you sure all know. Shall not be mentioned on <laughs> this podcast. Not be mentioned on this podcast. No, but I want to go. I was gonna meet a uh, last year. I was gonna meet um. Eleven from uh, Stranger Things. Millie Bobby Millie Brown. Bob- yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, there was another Stranger Things cast before. There were a lot of cool people there. Yeah, okay, <laughs> but yeah. no, that was a really good dude. I miss. I need to go to a convention again. Where are all of you from? Most of you are from America, right? I'm coming to America. <laughs> coming to America. I do have a like a. Sorry, I, I know we're way over time. I'm yeah, have you'll to cut, just this, cut down, this down, but I want to keep talking because we're we're on a roll and it doesn't always happen. <laughs> no, it doesn't. And I have I have a plan for a future thing that I want to do desperately, desperately want to do. I want to have like a an American kind of road trip between like because all of my saber friends basically like 70, 80 percent of them are American. Mm-hmm. I think, off the top of my head, at least. You want to take a road trip between them? Seventy people? No, seventy percent of <laughs> the people. That's even more than what the fuck I. That's seven thousand people. No, not the fans, like other creators. Oh, okay. Jesus, so I want to go. I thought you were like... <laughs> talking about your subscribers. I was like, are you outside I mean, of your mind? That would be amazing as well, but that's kind of that's crazy. Impossible. Exactly. But I want to like, I want to go like you'd start here. And I'd meet like the three people in this area. We'd do like a collaboration and then either fly or drive to like another state or another part of that state and like do like a convention. Go Stop to one talking. Other. Why? Because this could be done. No, I know. That's why I'm excited about it. Because this can't, I, I just take like a month and just do this. Just make mm-hmm. this a YouTube month. Just go around, meet all of the, because there are so many awesome people that I've gotten to meet and like they like, all. I think we should start planning this right now. Oh, you're going to come with me? Of course I'm going to come <laughs> with you. Who's going to hold the camera? Yeah, true, true. A tripod? Come on. No, exactly. No, but how like how amazing would that be? Pretty fucking right? cool, yeah. Like if you just go between, you know, this state, this state, we'd end up at Galaxy's Edge at one point. 
maybe go, go to a convention, you know, we'd or two or two, you know, just take a month, month and a half and just, you know, do an actual road trip. Yeah. And like, and like collab, do collaborations with all the, all of my friends along the way. Yeah, we're pretty fucking cool, yeah. Right? Yeah. So, end it on a high note. I think this has been then. This has been a good podcast. Yeah. This one will definitely not be in the bin. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. Well done. Welcome back. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, should we talk about the uh, the cover? The cover. I don't know what cover it is. Yeah. Oh yeah. Ahead. So uh, I did a cover of your song by Elton John. Hell yeah. Uh, I basically when I was gonna say rest in peace. He's not dead, is he? No, he's not. Yet. Live long and prosper. Yeah. Wait, this is a Star Wars. I'm going to burn in hell. Dude, that's bad. Holy balls. Live long and pro. Fuck you. I think Stoney is broken. <laughs> <laughs> I did not just say that. Dude, Dude. especially after watching Fanboys. I might like... <laughs> Dude, why do we watch Fanboys? Because I'm sorry, we're off track again here, but like... yeah. That movie truly ruined me because I genuinely thought Star Wars fans and Trekkies were at war. So I have not yet seen anything Star Trek because I genuinely think that... I genuinely thought it, that was just a normal thing. We hate each other. Mm. <laughs> Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So anyways, um, uh, I did an Elton John cover uh, of your song. And, and uh, so basically what happened, uh, we were going to meet. Uh, when I finished working, uh, and then uh, I realized, holy oh, yeah, we're gonna do a podcast. So I had to get all the equipment uh, from my studio. So I had to go there, and then I went there, and I basically like had no time at all, it, I, which I think it kind of helped me. Wait, did you just record this? Yeah, yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. So like, I literally like I grabbed my guitar and realized, holy shit. I don't have a G string. No pun intended. Uh, yeah, <laughs> man, you're, you're so fuck. You're, such, you're so grown up. Hey, it's a French joke. It's valid. Okay, so basically, <laughs> I was missing a string on my guitar. I was missing the G string. And I basically said, like, <laughs> okay, well, fuck it. So, uh, I just recorded with five strings instead of six, mm-hmm. uh, which was uh, interesting. Interesting, yeah. Uh, and I just. I ran through the song a couple of times um, and then because like like literally yesterday I fucked up my voice because I was uh, recording for my band The Runes, right? Yeah, Runes the Or just band. Runes Runes the band Runes the band, yeah Go give them a follow Yeah On Instagram it's Runes the band And TikTok as well, right? Yeah, basically You have a, a single coming up soon, right? Uh, we have an uh, an EP coming out soon, which is uh, an uh, four song album. Very cool. We'll have to. We'll we'll definitely talk about that when it comes out. Yeah, it's about probably ne- next podcast. Yeah, hopefully. sweet. I look forward to it. Yeah, but uh, for now, I think the only thing you're going to enjoy for now is this sweet cover. It's a little bit funny. This feeling inside. I'm not one of those who can easily hide I don't have much money, but boy, if I did I'd buy a big house where we both could live If I was a sculptor But then again, no Or a man Who makes potions in a Traveling show I know it's not much But it's the best I can do My gift is my song and This one's for you 
And you can tell everybody This is your song It may be quite simple But now that it's done I hope you don't mind I hope you don't mind That I put down in words How wonderful life is While you're in the world I sat on the roof And I kicked off the moss Well, a few of these verses Well, it got me quite crumbled But the sun's been quite kind While I wrote this song It's for people like you that Keep it turned on So excuse me for getting But these things I do Well, you see I've forgotten If they're green Or they're blue oh. Anyway, the thing is What I really mean Yours are the sweetest eyes I've ever seen And you can tell everybody This is your song It may be quite simple But now that it's done I hope you don't mind I hope you don't mind That I put down in words How wonderful life You're in the world I hope you don't mind I hope you don't mind That I put 